all this is something that's just just kept it to myself all this time. I just want you to understand, to listen. This this is me. This is me. Hey. Yeah? Mom and Daddy here. Are you ready? This is really brave of you, Oscar. You'll be fine. I'm here for you. What if... What if they don't accept me for who I am? Don't be ridiculous. When you come out, say it slow, keep it simple. They have to understand. So I brought you guys here today because there's something I have to tell you. Did you kill somebody? No. Oh, did you get someone pregnant? Not that either. Are you a homosexual? I'm... I'm... I'm a dwarf. What? I didn't raise you to be some little person. W well, of course you didn't. I was born this way. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Well, have you tried not being a dwarf? Oh, God, what will your friends think? So, I'm a dwarf. <coughs> <coughs> Wait, how do you know you're a dwarf? Is that a serious question? Wait, wait, I got it. Grab that. Come on, Oscar. See? You aren't even trying. Whatever. Wait! Are you going to turn me into a dwarf? So, some of the other employees are a little bit concerned about you suddenly being so much shorter than everybody else. Well, I'm sure I've always been shorter. Look, Oscar, I... I can't have you making such a broad political statement in the workplace. It's not a political statement, Just. Gosh. Why don't you not make such a big deal out of everything and we'll all act like nothing's changed? But I've never tried to make a big deal and out of it. Last week you told Tim? Tom. Tom. That you couldn't reach the light switch and you asked him to do it for you, even though you were on lights out duties. Well, if you guys had some ladders or stools, I could... You see, you're already making a big deal out of everything. You're making us shape our lives to fit you, just like the left-handed or the colorblind. centaurs. He's just going through a phase. Okay, honey, let's keep her cool here. Oscar, dear, we will love you whether you think you're eight feet tall or have a gluten problem. You know what they say, love the sinner. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I don't necessarily agree with your choice to be tall. Short. Whatever you call it. We don't agree with your lifestyle choice, nor do we respect it. But, since you are our firstborn, we'll love you all the same. You hate something as a part of me. Well, but we don't hate the rest of you. Someone's been putting the idea in your head. That's what this is. No, Dad. I've got it. I bet you it's that friend of yours, Gus. The one who thinks he's a dog. Gus is a dog, Dad. Oh, what a lot of caca. He's a freeloader. He's living in our backyard. He won't get a job. He's digging holes and he's shitting all over the place. Oh, I knew he was a bad influence. Screw it. I thought I could get you guys to understand me, but clearly you don't. How could you treat him like that? Oh, Rita, don't be an enabler. You're only making it worse for him. Don't worry about them. I just want people to understand me. I know a friend who's like you. Maybe you two should meet. I'm not gonna hang out with another dwarf just because he's like me. Listen, Oscar, if you meet this guy, you might be able to understand yourself better.
Hey, Pete. Uh, um, uh, this is Oscar, Rita's brother. I'm just waiting for you at the park. And... Just coming up now. Oh, uh, are, you, are you wearing a, a hat or something? I found you. Hi, I'm Pete. So what was it like? Finding out? Yep. Oh, I just gradually pieced it all together. You know, for me it was such a big shock and it took years to accept. You know, when I tell other people, they get all confused. They tell me I'm too short. Too short? Yeah. I wouldn't know how they got such an idea. They don't always understand us, man. Yeah, us. But dating's the hardest part, though. Trying to tell my ex-girlfriend how it really was, really put a dent in things. Ah, oh, been there. Whew. And uh, that's how I survived a volcano. Wow. Um, listen, Lucy, we've been going out for a while now and there's something I have to tell you. You don't have flat feet, do you? Because you told me you got tested. D no, no, I'm, I'm a dwarf. I'm shorter than average. Is that contagious? No, it's a, it's a height thing. Like a giraffe? N no, more like a wombat. I see. Is everything about you short? So, I thought to myself, maybe he's a leper. Maybe he's a Sasquatch. Maybe he's French. But a dwarf! Whoa! That, that is something I never saw coming. Sasquatch. You are pretty hairy. You thought I was a mythological forest creature. Wait, aren't dwarfs a type of Sasquatch? What? She left you for a Yeti? Sasquatch. I wish never have come out in the first place. What? Don't be like that, man. You need to get over this spell, mate. Oh, dude. I know this place full of people just like us. Really? Yeah, man. Hey! <laughs> Drink up, buddy. Oh my god! This is so amazing. Yeah, I know. And so, um, isn't this amazing? Did you just said that? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oscar! <laughs> Sub total. <laughs> How's not? <laughs> I got a number. Maybe she's the one. See? Dwarves, man. You're not a dwarf. She's a six foot two for crying out loud. What are you saying? You're lying to yourself? <laughs> what makes you so sure? Have you ever looked in a bloody mirror? Have you? He thinks he's a dwarf. Crazy, right? Are you sure? It's insulting. It's not. He can identify himself however he wants. He's not hurting anyone or himself. It's no big deal. Yeah, but we're- No, Oscar! Just because you can't see his condition and all the stuff he has to put up with doesn't make it any less real than yours. Hey, what do you want? I'm sorry about the other night. All my life, I've wanted to be accepted for who I am. To embrace it and love myself for it. But whenever I told people, they just couldn't see it. So I thought it was a fad. That I was lying to them, but I know. Deep down, I know that's who I am. Just because you don't look like a dwarf, doesn't mean you're not a dwarf. A dwarf? Aren't you? Never said I was a dwarf, did I? Oh. What are you then? I'm a giant. Oh. That makes sense. You know, sometimes I think it would be better if we just hide it. If we hide it, they win. <laughs> yeah, but then if we... Don't we hide who you are, man. Just be you. If they don't like it, Forget him. <laughs>